started up. Hi guys and welcome back to another 3 Minute Thursday. Uh, today we're going to be looking at how to make a stencil. So. What I mean by that is how to make the carbon copy of the stencil. So if you haven't already checked out my video on how to make the stencil using Procreate, click the link above, further how to get a stencil uh, onto a carbon sheet ready to stick onto your client. Um, so if you enjoy the video, make sure to click the subscription button, click the little bell icon to get notified of all my latest videos, smash the like button. Uh, and if you're not already following my Instagram, click the link in the description to check me out. So with that being said, let's jump straight into it. So I'm going to presume that you've already got to this point in Procreate, which is uh, having a simple line drawing which is in essence going to be the stencil so the first thing you're going to do is just print that out so the way that i print it click the spanner icon in the top left corner click pdf best that's going to give you the best quality you can click print send that to your printer uh, and grab the print out from this point forward we don't need the ipad so we can get rid of that and then we get a nice print out so all we need to check with the printout is that the lines are nice and solid, that we haven't got any breaks or any sort of misprints, and that we've got a nice solid black line, which is going to be nice and easy for the thermal copier to pick up and give you a nice crisp stencil. This one looks pretty good. It's a really simple design, um, nothing too wild. Uh, we haven't got a lot of close lines next to each other, so uh, we can bang this straight through. So the thermal copier that I use... It's just a standard thermal copier. I've used this since pretty much day one. Really simple machine. All it's gonna do is just use the black elements on this and just put a thermal print straight onto the paper. Paper that I use is thermal copying paper from Spirit. You can get this from any good tattoo suppliers. Make sure it's the thermal copying one, not the hand stencil one, um, otherwise it won't work. When you take these out of the box, you're gonna get a sheet that looks like this. The top sheet is what the stencil is gonna be on, which is like almost like tracing paper. Underneath that, you've got a brown sheet, which is a protective layer. That's gonna stop any of the carbon transferring onto this before you've actually put it through the copier. Underneath that, you've got the plastic sheet, which has got the carbon on it. Make sure you don't touch this because you'll go all over your hands and you'll get purple fingers. And then the last sheet is just the backing sheet, which just keeps everything together, keeps everything feeding through the machine without creasing and buckling. First things first, Brown sheet, we don't need that because we're about to use the sheet, so we can ditch that. And then we're going to want to grab the plastic sheet and the white sheet and have those separate to the yellow sheet. With the thermal copier, open up the lid. At the back of the, uh, the lid here, you'll find that on the hinge, there's a slight little gap. You want to make sure you get the plastic sheet and the white sheet to go through the bottom of that hinge and then just pull it through so you don't want to pull it all the way through because you've still got to close the lid down what i do is just close it without clicking it down so it's just resting on there and then you can just pull the carbon sheet nice and tight making sure that the crease on the yellow backing sheet is nice and square across the uh, across the hinge at this point click that down and just bend that white sheet over settings wise I keep all my settings on exactly the same. So I print my sheet out exactly how I want it to go on the skin. So I want mirror mode on. So that's going to give me a mirror copy so that when I stick it onto the skin, it's the right way round. We don't need photo mode on. That's just going to give you a few extra details. We've got a real simple line stencil. So everything's going to be grand. Uh, and we just want on deepness on too. So we can get the most amount of carbon on there. Deepness settings is basically just going to turn the temperature up. You want it as, as good and as dark as the stencil is going to be. So you get a real good solid, solid print onto the skin. With your image, you're gonna to wanna to remember that the pickup is sort of situated in the middle. So you wanna make sure that your image is always facing the sheet. So you want your image face down. It doesn't matter whether you're this way round or this way round, it's all gonna print the same. The main thing really is just to uh, take into consideration that that needs to be face down to uh, to get picked up. The other thing is these are A4 sheets from uh, Spirit. However, they won't pick up a full A4 sheet. They do longer ones. So if you do have an image, a uh, stencil that covers the whole of an A4 sheet, you are gonna need the longer carbon sheets. Otherwise, if you've got an image just, just in the middle uh, with maybe like an inch or so gap at the top and the bottom, uh, you're gonna be grand using the, uh, the regular size. So the feeding slot at the front, make sure it's nice and square. When you put it in, you'll feel it pull and just grip onto the paper and it'll just make a little beat just to tell you that everything's, everything's all ready to go. At this point, you're just going to press copy. That's going to start feeding this through. At this point, I normally move this sheet over and just put a little bit of tension 
on the top and on the bottom. It's just gonna make sure you're not gonna get any buckles and creases in your sheet and you're gonna get a nice crisp solid stencil printed onto the thermal copier. Just let this feed through. You don't want to be pulling or pushing. What's going to happen if you do that? You're just going to warp your stencil and it's going to give you a, an inaccurate thing to stick onto, onto your client. So just let the machine do all the work and let it feed through. And then once we get to the bottom, feed out the rest of our paper and then we can move the thermal copier away. So our stencil, which we wanna keep just in case we make a mess of putting this onto the client. If we do need to make another copy, you just repeat the process and you can make as many stencils as you want, which is a bonus of doing it this way, as opposed to doing a hand stencil where if that one messes up, you've got to spend another half an hour, hour redoing the whole stencil. So with this sheet now, you wanna just peel off nice and carefully the white top sheet, you can see how our stencil is printed off onto the paper. And we'll just take that away from the yellow back and the plastic sheet with all the carbon on. Again, be careful not to touch all the carbon because it will go on your hands and it takes forever to get off. You can ditch that in the bin. And now we're left with our stencil. So this is pretty much a mirror image of the stencil. So like I say, once that sticks onto the skin, as you can see, it's going to be exactly the same as our image and we're going to get a lovely crisp stencil stuck onto our client to give us the most accurate and highly detailed tattoo we can so there you go guys that was a quick and easy three minute thursday just to give you a a little bit of an idea as to how I do my stencils. Like I say, there might be easier ways, there might be more difficult ways. This is the way that I do it. I find it really straightforward. It means that I can put a stencil on as many times I want to uh, change placement. And if I wreck the stencil, I can just print another one through the thermal copier and then I'm back to having a perfect stencil. Hopefully you found something interesting from this. Make sure to smash the subscription button to keep up to date with all my videos. Smash the like button if you enjoyed this. Drop a comment if you want to find out anything else. With all that being said, thank you so much so much for watching guys i'll see you on the next one peace